What's up friends? Welcome to Hump Day News Edition here at Tech of Tomorrow. So what's up on the news this week? Well, Titanfall, it's coming out. Is your PC actually ready to handle Titanfall? Now the minimum requirements for Titanfall are this. Titanfall needs a minimum of a 64-bit Windows 7, but will also run on Windows 8 and 8.1. On the CPU side of things, if you're an AMD gamer, you need at least an Athlon X2 2.8 GHz CPU. And if you're an Intel gamer, you need a minimum of a Core 2 Duo 2.4 GHz CPU. Other minimum specs include at least 4 GB of RAM, 512 MB of VRAM on either a Radeon HD 4770 or GeForce 8800 GT video card. Now for you folks out there who are looking forward to this, it comes out March 11th here in the United States and March 14th over in the European countries. Now some people out there have given us their opinions already and said, ah, oh, it's no problem whatsoever. Others are like going, holy shot, going, oh my God, is it going to work? Well. We've got an article about this and we want you guys to check it out and give us your opinions. And actually, is your computer ready for Titanfall? I know mine is and I can't wait till the game comes out. But how do you feel about it? Next up. Helium film hard drive. Now that's some whopping amount of storage. Now Western Digital has already released a drive like this. They did this last November and hit the market. It was the first six terabyte drive on the planet. Now when this thing's filled with helium, it does a lot of different things for the drive. It actually allows, since it's so much lighter than air, it allows for more platters to be stacked. It allows for your data tracks to be done closer together and actually keeps the drive running a lot cooler. Well now Seagate, never one to be left behind is saying, hey, we're going to have our drive out by April. Now, where the technical specs will be exactly the same is questionable, but you know it's going to have to be something like that. It's going to be a bunch of stacked drives inside of a standard 3.5 inch hard drive. Pretty interesting stuff. And the fact that it's six terabytes is going to be incredible for those people out there who are into media stuff. So if you're into games, you're into movies, you're into storing shit, hey, six terabytes is the most you can get, and it's going to be pretty awesome for those folks out there. Now, the the only drawback is that it's currently coming to the enterprise market. So it's going to be enterprise storage right off the bat, and that means it's going to be costly. But as that technology trickles down to the desktop area, you know you're going to be able to see one of these drives yourself within the next year. Now, last up in the tech news, you guys all know Samsung, one of the biggest swinging in the entire industry. Well, these guys are going to have their unpacked five event later this month. And that's really going to be interesting. Now, what's rumored is they're going to be releasing a brand new Galaxy S5 at this event. And if that happens, that's going to be very interesting. And I want to get my hands on one of those and check that out because I really love the Samsung technology, especially their phones. I love my Note 3. Now, there are some other further rumors going on about this event. One of the first ones is that they're going to ditch the plastic design and replace that with a metal design. They're also going to be upgrading the screen to a 2.5K screen, which would be really, really interesting. Now, for all of the information on all of these topics that we've talked about here on Hump Day, you guys can see those down below the like button in the description. We'll have all this information and links to the full article. So if you're interested in more information about this stuff, you guys can fully check it out and feed your brain on technology. I'm Elric. Thanks to see you guys here on the channel. We'll have more tech news and more articles, more everything here for you on Tech of Tomorrow coming up this week. See you later.